okay. Being there for your best friend is really key, but it affects you a lot, so you have to learn to take time for yourself. During this time, the focus is really on your friend with cancer. It's hard to watch people that you care about be sick. It's hard to watch them struggle. So you'll have emotions around that. And you have to take care of yourself too so that you can continue to be their friend through this process. So just like I tried to be as present as I could and supportive, but it was also like, I felt like I had to keep a smile on my face and stay supportive. But behind closed doors, I'd be really upset. And so like I would cry to my mom, like I can't lose my best friends. And I think myself, I was having anxiety about my own life, um, school, work, what was my next step. As a friend, you're gonna have stress and worry about this situation. And so it's really important that you find a person or a couple of people who you can talk to about that, who aren't your friend with cancer. My mom would always reassure me, Renee's gonna be fine. We have to support Renee in this time. And so a lot of my stress I would put on my mom because I didn't want to put it on Renee. Make sure you have a community, a good network of people to help you. Um, someone that you can always text, or if it's not just someone, create a group, maybe other close friends of your best friend. You, We started a group text, um, a few of Lindsay's friends, and that was so helpful because we can text that thread at any time of the day and say, oh, I thought of Lindsay, or I just got to work and I am bawling in the bathroom. There's this idea of um, comfort in, dump out. In the center of the circle is the patient who has cancer. And then the first ring around that patient is the people closest to them, their immediate family, maybe significant other or spouse, the people who are really close to them in this journey. And then maybe in the ring beyond that is your classmates, the people at your school or your work. And the idea of comfort in, dump out, is that as you move inward in that circle to people who are closer to the patient, your role as a friend to those people is to comfort them. You may still have things that you need to vent about, about this experience, or just about your general life, and you should dump out to the people who are in a ring outside. Do share your baggage and your stress with those people because you need to release that. But just make sure you're, it's moving in the right way. I just can't even imagine going through cancer without my friends and my family and my support network. It's gotten me through and it continues to get me through. I go to my parents, I go to my grief therapist, my art therapist, my siblings, Lindsay's good friends, and I built this network knowing that Lindsay wanted me to do well, to do better for myself, and she didn't want me down. As much as having cancer sucks, and I wouldn't wish it on anybody, it certainly makes you grateful for the people in your life and for the support that they give you every single day. Who are some people that you can turn to when you really need to vent?